with another short tutorial. This is going to be on um, uh, a tutorial on how to put a resource into a 5M server, specifically the AOP or the area to play resource. So with that, you're going to come to this website. I'll put it in the description down below. Um, and you're going to scroll down and it kind of tells you what it does and shows a picture of how you do it and everything. So you're going to come down and you're going to download the click download here and it's going to download a zip folder. So as always, I like to drag my zip folders out and then go ahead and open it up with WinRAR, 7-zip, whatever you use to open um, your zip folders. And then here is the area of play folder. And these are the files. Okay, so you're going to go into your, if I can find it, your server, and you're going to go to your server data or whatever you named it, resources, and then here's all of your resources that you have in your server. And you're just going to simply take this server folder and drag and drop it into your resources. Then go back to um, your server data and go to the server.cfg, edit with notepad plus plus. And that went on my other screen, bring that over here. And then you're going to type uh, ensure, if I can spell, area of play. And it's all just one word. Make sure you put it in correctly. Um, yours might be ensure, yours might be start. Just make sure it's all the same as what's already there. And then just um, save it. And then you're done with this, done with that. Click on your start bat and make sure it's loading your resource. And there it is right there. Res started resource area of play. So let's go into our server and test it out. Um, a lot of communities use this to let people know uh, and what part of the map the role play is happening in. Um, it's a very useful resource if that's uh, something that suits your community. Make sure, you know, go ahead and add it in there. It's like I said, it's, it's very useful. Um, well, if I can get my server to come up, I don't have it saved. So bear with me for just a moment. I can't spell apparently. All right, it should come up. There it is. All right, so let's go join the server. And mine is a 5PD server. So if yours isn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, mine should still work for uh, showing you, you know, how to do it, whatever. So give it just a moment to load. It's been a minute since I've been <laughs> been into my server, so it might take just a minute. Yeah, almost there. Almost there. There we go. All right, so we're in our server, and if we do text slash area of, oh, no space, play loss, I think it has to be loss Santos. And I did it wrong. Oh, no, there we go. So right there in the bottom left you can see it says Los Santos um, so you just type that in whatever you want and uh, make sure it's two words and I did do it wrong 
AOP. It's AOP. Los Santos. And I cannot spell for the life of me right now. So there it goes. So it's AOP, not area of play. Completely disregard that I did that. But yeah, it'll show up in your chat uh, that you've changed it to uh, Los Santos and it'll tell the members to um, finish their current RP and move to Los Santos. And then you can just do it again, you know, change it to whatever. So remember it's AOP. And then let's do Blaine County. C-O-U-N-T-Y. And you can see it just changes it, the AOP to Blaine County, and it also changes it in the bottom left corner. You can see it now says AOP Blaine County. So it's a very useful um, resource. Let's everybody know where all the RP is happening at. Uh, forgive me for <laughs> giving you the wrong information on what it was at first. Uh, it's really early in the morning and I've been up all night. So I hope this helps you guys out with your servers. If you'd like to see something, let me know in the comments. And we will catch you guys next tutorial.